What's good, y'all? It's your boy Chief Though G back again with another Rich Before 30 podcast. Today, we're picking up on Chapter 6, The Best Worry. Last episode, we discussed death and how people spend most of their lives trying to avoid death and do anything to avoid death and live life in fear as opposed to living life doing whatever you can to be happy, knowing that one day death will come. Whatever brings you happiness also brings you power and joy. Practice and believe in the power of positive thinking. Today, we'll discuss some of my favorite laws from the 48 Laws of Power. We will now continue in the book Rich Before 30 by Gavin Chief Meredith. If you're reading along, we'll begin on page 148. Believe in the power of positive thinking. My favorite laws from the 48 Laws of Power. Law 2. Never put too much trust in friends. Someone who doesn't know you is less likely to hurt you or your feelings than those closest to you. Your friends are the most likely to betray you. Old friends stories. I felt that my friend owed me all the gratitude in the world. If it were not for my initiative in releasing music, my friend may have never released a single song. This was my biggest mistake. I allowed my friend to see power up close. He saw that anything I wanted I was able to get. Without him actually putting forth any effort, he expected the same. I created a monster. Many people do the same in his situation. He had forgotten the favors he received and imagined that he earned his success all on his own. Honesty rarely strengthens friendships. Therefore, friends are always nice, but may not be truthful. So you may never know how a friend actually feels about you. Of course you want to hire friends to help with ideas and projects. After all, you know them. The truth is, friends will agree with you a lot of time just to avoid an argument. When you trust in a friend, you may find poor qualities of theirs that they've hidden from you. Sometimes, when you do favors for a friend, they could feel like, oh, they're only doing this nice thing for me because we're friends. A little more honesty, and before you know it, you see signs of envy and your friendship will end more quickly than it began. And now the more gifts and favors you give, the more your friend will resent you. They will be less grateful with every gift. At the end of the day, you're trying to get rich, not make friends. Keep friends for friendship and your hustle and business separate. My old friend who I mentioned earlier who removed my section of the song because he didn't want to see me progress, in his anger and jealousy, he went to my Instagram comments to shit talk me. I responded by calling him Little. By Little, I meant in stature and in mind state. Here was someone I once thought to be a friend who was now expressing his anger toward our ended friendship on social media for all the world to see. I won't sugarcoat it. I responded by calling him a bitch. In almost every language, when testosterone is involved, a fistfight is usually what comes next. A good friend of my father, whom I call uncle, advised me to surprise my friend and shake his hand and show no animosity the next time I saw him. Whenever you can, bury the hatchet with an enemy. The 48 Laws of Power. I ran into this friend at a mutual friend's barbershop one day, and I did exactly that. Shook his hand. Dead it. It's not worth your energy. You need all your energy focusing on getting rich. Law 9. Went through actions, never through argument. Some people argue with you just for the sake of argument. In their mind, they're always right, even when they're proven wrong. When you argue with someone who thinks they're smarter than you or more entitled than you, they assume that you don't know what you're talking about. But they, in fact, have all the knowledge. When you're arguing with someone who likes to argue, it's like arguing with a brick wall. When this person feels cornered, they only start to argue more. If you listen closely, this person will dig their own grave with their arguments, making contradictions frequently. But if this person who loves to argue gets you to question or feel insecure in your beliefs, then they'll never stop. We all believe we have the right answer. The key is to show that you're correct through action. Law 25. Recreate yourself. Fuck the rules. If you don't like who you are, You can change everything about yourself today. You can change the way you think, and you can change your actions. Love yourself. Be the master of your own image. 
Don't let others define it for you. Hype yourself up, even if no one else will. Live by your words. Don't be a hypocrite. Law 29. Plan all the way to the end. When you know what your end goal is, you know what you're headed for, and you know when to stop. Sometimes you have to take a break, step back, appreciate, and assess what you have accomplished. From here, you can figure out exactly what it is that you want to do or where you want to go next. This is most likely where you are now. Take a look at everything you've accomplished. Take a look at how far you've come. You've done it once. You've done it twice. You can do it again. You're doing great. This is perfect. I really needed this uh, section of my book right now. It's crazy reading this a uh, second time along. Or, you know, of course, I read it a lot in editing and going back in, but just sitting here and reading it with this podcast, um, I need each section of this book in a different way as we've come across it on this journey together. Law two, never put too much trust in friends. If you put a lot of trust in your friends, you're most likely going to get hurt. And that goes back to setting high expectations and not really asking enough questions. You may begin to work with a friend and realize that you're more passionate about a project than they are. Or you may even find that your theories on how to get things done are completely different and do not and cannot coincide. I know from personal experience, I've got some friends who just work too slow. And that's okay. Everybody has the right to live their life the way they want to live it. Some people like taking time with projects. and For me, time doesn't stop. But... What also doesn't stop for me is the ideas I come up with. I'm always in motion. My mind's always in motion. So I like to get things done quickly so I can move on to the next step. Move on to the next project. Add another layer, another brick to this wall of greatness that I'm building. The 48 Laws of Power also taught me that whenever I can bury the hatchet with the enemy, I should. Old friend of mine who I mentioned in this book earlier, we had a disagreement I ran into him at a barbershop, a mutual friend's barbershop, and when I saw him, I shook his hand. I just deaded the argument. It wasn't worth our energy. It wasn't worth my energy any longer. I was advised to do so by an uncle, uh, a friend of the family who I call uncle, and he told me, just dead it. It's not worth it. And that's exactly what I did. This reminds me to tell you, win through actions and not argument. This is law nine in the 48 Laws of Power. A lot of people talk a big game and they talk shit and say they can do things and they may seem great, but your actions speak louder than your words. Your accomplishments speak for themselves. Win through action, not argument. Law 25 is recreate yourself. I was speaking to a friend who's had a clothing brand for a while now and I wanted to speak to him about rebranding and what were his ideas on rebranding. Through our conversation, all I wanted to gain was clarity and I also wanted to help him gain clarity on the mission and designs of his brand. Law 29 of the 48 Laws of Power is plan all the way to the end. When you know where you're headed, you know when to stop. You know when you're finished. You know when you can take a break and assess what you've done and where you want to go next. You've done it once, you've done it twice, and you'll do it again. You're doing great. Sometimes I feel that humans in general just don't get to hear that enough. If you're listening to this, I'm here to tell you, you're doing great. Keep up the great work. If you haven't done so already, be sure to pick up a copy of my book, Rich Before 30 by Gavin Chief Meredith, available on Amazon. I'm Chief The OG, and this is the Rich Before 30 podcast. See you next time.